Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at something a bit different when it comes to lighting. Uh, it's a setting called Max Lighting, and you might not have even seen it because it's not the easiest thing to find, nor is it with the other lighting settings that you might expect to see. So before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something, which I sure hope you do, then please demolish that like button. It really helps me out. All right, getting into it now. What is max lighting? Well, that's a great question. We're going to discover that within this video. And my hopes is that it um, ends up being more impactful than I think. But um, we'll see about that. So what is max lighting? It is a setting that you would think you'd find within the regular lighting settings of any sort of project in the lighting here. But in fact, you don't. It is only found within the export options of an image. Panorama, video, anything, an export option. So if we come in here to more under my image exports, I see my all my options. I have 3D mode, on or off, refinement, motion blur, all videos on refinement and motion video, check those out. But we also have this max lighting, which is a toggle. We could turn it on and off. And you know immediately, we don't see anything, and that's because it's an export option. We're not gonna see this until we end up exporting something. So in this case, we're going to export this image, both with max lighting off and on, so we can hopefully see a difference between them. And, you know, I not guarantee anything because I don't necessarily know what max lighting does. I have an idea of what it does or at least what it's supposed to do. But we're going to test it out in an interior, an exterior, and a kind of a mixed interior versus exterior with basically with sunlight. Because what we're in now is literally an enclosure. Like it's a box. I have no openings to the outside world. There's a sun going on out there. There's who knows what's going out there as far as weather, light, and everything, but it's not having an impact in here. Now, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a little tangent, and that's going to be within the the lighting of this particular image. And so you can see my image here looks fine. I, again, I'm in a darkened area, uh, so the time of day shouldn't matter. Nothing should really matter. I shouldn't get no exterior light, but in fact, I do. And how do I know this? Well, it's kind of weird, and you might say, well, you're not getting exterior light. Well, let me show you here. So I have in the weather... I have fully sun here. I don't have any clouds. I, I haven't changed the season or anything. So it's a clear sky outside. <laughs> so look what happens whenever I change this from like a sunny day outside to a cloudy day. Look at that. That is a dramatic difference. And so you can't tell me that the exterior lighting, basically the exterior sun or what's going on outside is not having an impact in here. Now, I don't like that because literally it's a box. There's no opening whatsoever. I have four... Walls, a floor, a ceiling, there's no openings whatsoever. Not sure if that should happen or what. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. I just want to let you know. It's a little nugget. So, okay, here we go. I am going to basically export this image, both with max lighting off and on, and we can just immediately compare them both. So I will see you in just a second, and we can compare both of them. Okay, so here is the first image with max lighting off, and I'm going to hit the right arrow key and you'll see I have image one and then it will change the name. So there's the next one and I can go back and forth and I see absolutely no difference, which it kind of bothers me. I think I should see something different, but I don't. So maybe it's not so much an interior application. Maybe the sun is involved. Maybe exterior shots are involved. Maybe it's talking about exterior lighting. It's a great question. I don't know for sure, but we're going to keep exploring. So I'm going to go from here and we're going to open a scene that is you know, a better looking scene that is exterior. We're looking at exterior shots next. So see you right there in just a second. Okay, so we're in a separate model and we've got a halfway decent exterior shot. Basically, it's good enough. And so we here we are and I'm just, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna come here, make sure that I'm using, of course, max lighting on and off. But I mean, that's really gonna be it. I'm gonna make sure I have the right image selected because I want that one selected, of course. But besides that, I, we're going to see what it does. Hopefully we get more of a, a distinct difference between max lighting off and on for exports looking at an exterior shot. So I will, we'll be right back again. We'll look at that. And here we go. We're looking at that exterior shot and you know, it's not half bad. It's fine. You know, there's no clouds. The mater materials are kind of bland, but that's not necessarily what we care about. I don't think because it's more the lighting we're expecting. You know, do we see a difference between one versus the other having max lighting off or on? So as I toggle to the next shot, I'm toggling back and forth here, and you can see eh, there's not quite much difference. There's, it's maybe 1% brighter. I, I can't tell. Um, that's just kind of the way it is, and so I don't know. You know, 
Uh, I've got one more application that we're going to look look at in this same project, but it's interior looking out. There's a lot more sun going on. And so let's go there and, again, export the same thing, and hopefully, hopefully we have better results. So this is the shot that I want to look at because I, I have a lot of sun coming in. I'm... I'm inside still, but there's a lot of sun, there's a lot of things going on. And I want to make sure that I have a lot of indirect light to work with because I'm thinking that that has something to do with it. And I'll show you why I think that here in a second. Um, but again, I'm going to go ahead and export these, both, one with max light off or max light on, both of them. And then we'll take a look. So be right back. And here we go. We have max lighting off. And, you know, clearly there's a lot of lighting. There's a lot of lighting here. Like, uh, it's a bit too bright, but... Nonetheless, I can see there's plenty of light here to work with, and it already looks like it's maxed, if you will. Uh, but as I toggle to the next one, we can see, yeah, some of the shadow change, of course, but uh, I can't quite tell a big difference. Well, I do see that there is some clarity that uh, seems to work itself out in the foreground as I toggle from uh, one to the other, basically going from max lighting off to max lighting on. There might be a benefit there, but honestly, I can't see a huge difference here. So I'm sorry if this video ends up being a bit of a letdown for you, because honestly, it was a bit of a letdown for me when I did all of these different images and realized, yeah, yeah we're, <laughs> I don't see a huge difference. So with all that to say, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of positivity in, in the form of an article that I found actually in Japanese. And <laughs> I want to share it with you here. You can see that it does start to get into uh, what this is supposed to be or it might end up just ask more, asking more questions because it kind of is, but make sure you translate it to English. But you can see that from Twin Motion 2019 to 2020, we went from max lighting, this icon, to that icon, and you know we can start to see some of the differences. So what, what this guy does is he does have kind of similar instances as me as far as testing. Uh, we've got max lighting off and on. Again, you cannot see much of a difference here. I, I'm failing to see the difference. Uh, but he does do it in a, a number of different ways, and so you can start to see some of the differences. The main thing he points out is with indirect lighting, there's a bit more, like the indirect lighting is boosted. So what I did with that last shot was try to get a shot that had more indirect lighting. In other words, a, a way to boost that up. Uh, but you could, as you can see, I didn't have a ton of success. So, you know, here, check, take a look at this. This will be in the uh, description below, so check that out. But, you know, really... I don't have a great answer for you. It's something that should work differently or more effectively, or it should just be known what it does, or at least what it's supposed to do, because I can't quite tell if we should use it or not. I would say it seems to maybe add a little bit more clarity to the scene when you have a lot of lighting. I don't know. So maybe use it. Also, there's an argument against using it because I can hardly tell the difference at all. So it, it really is up to you. So again, check out this article. Uh, hopefully we can get some more clarity from... I don't know, twin motion or something to get an idea of how this is supposed to work or if we're all using it wrong or if it actually isn't working as intended. I don't know. Just curious. So hopefully we get some clarity on that in the future. But until then, I don't know if you discover something or if I'm completely wrong or you have you found something, please leave that in the comment section below so we can all benefit from that. That would really help. And if you did happen to learn something, which you might have, you also might not have. I don't know. But anyways, if you did or just liked the video, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. It really, really does. So thank you very much for watching. That's going to do it. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.